Welcome to the seventh episode of Gardening Tips with Yuri for Gardena. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about some fall tools, some of which you may have never seen before. If you're new to this series, make sure to check out all the previous episodes of Gardening Tips with Yuri on the Gardena North America channel, and make sure to subscribe to catch future episodes. If you're looking to buy any of the tools in this episode, check out the bio below for purchase links to everything. All right, now before anything, I need to show you guys the new tool from Gardena. It's their brand new leaf collector, and this thing is amazing. It's not powered, which means no charging, no loud engine, no fumes. The upright lightweight design keeps my posture straight and is so easy to push. Check this out. It picks up literally almost every leaf in its path. The large rotating brushes automatically grab the leaves on my lawn and are collected in the removable collection bag at the back here. You just have to be mindful about the height adjustment to match your garden's terrain or grass height and you're good to go. Once the collection bag is full, I just detach it from the leaf collector and dispose of the leaves into a bag. It's such a great alternative to a rake and it completely removes the annoying task of picking up leaves once they're all raked up. When I'm done, I just fold it up in my garage and it barely takes up any space. This thing frees up a bunch of time and my back thanks me at the end too. Next, I want to introduce you to Gardena's solution to modular gardening, the Gardena Combi System. I know some of you are rolling your eyes because you've been using them for decades. Yes, the combi system isn't new and was released long ago in 1977, but a lot of you watching in North America haven't heard of it yet. To save precious space in your tool shed or garage, Gardena has created a line of modular tool heads that pair up with a variety of handles, which means you can have more than 900 different tool and handle combinations. I think that's pretty cool. And of course, the handles come in different sizes and shapes and materials. You can even get extendable poles for those hard to reach areas. We're going to talk about a bunch of combi system tools and some other unique tools as well, so stick around till the end to check them out. As you saw with the leaf collector, it's fall where I'm at, and it's the time of year to prepare your garden for the cold winter months ahead. But next on my list is to collect all the fallen fruit under my apple tree here. We love the apples we harvest from it, but of course the squirrels and bees love them too. But when I need to collect the rotting ones to get them out of the way of my robotic lawnmower, there's no better tool than the Gardena Fruit Collector. This thing is awesome. I just roll it over whatever I want to pick up and just tip it into a basket when I'm done. That's a patented feature, by the way, that side exit. You can also use it to pick up tennis balls, golf balls, walnuts, and basically anything around that size. I can even pick up some of my daughter's toys with it. The next thing to do on my fall checklist is to do a thorough cleanup of any weeds before I run a grubber over my vegetable patch, and man, do I have the tool for that. Check out the new Gardena Weeding Tool. This thing is brand new for 2023 and it's so solid, it feels like it's going to last way longer than the 25 year warranty. All I have to do is push the tool down over a pesky weed using the ergonomic footrest, turn it 180 degrees, pull it out and then release the mechanism like a shotgun reload. That's it, few steps and it's gone. I just spent a few minutes around my yard with this thing to get the job done. The design is also great on my back and I never have to bend over to pull the weed out of the tool. The thing I love about it the most though is that the blades aren't very far apart, so it doesn't look like my backyard has a bunch of holes in it after I'm done. The next thing on my list is to run the combi system grubber through my vegetable patch to get rid of any leftover dead vegetation or rotten vegetables. It also goes deep enough to grab any root matter as well. This way I can make sure my vegetable patch is ready for next year. And you guessed it, I don't need another pole, I just unscrew the fruit collector and screw this one in. Moving on, the next thing I'm going to show you is this extension pole and branch pruner from Gardena. It just screams quality. The pole extends from 7 feet to 13 feet. Just to show you how well this thing cuts, I'm going to do some test passes here. Check this out. All I have to do is pull down the D handle and five times the force is applied to the blades thanks to the built-in transmission. And I can cut branches up to 1.5 inches thick. This thing is going to make tree pruning a walk in the park. Check out Gardena's Instagram stories for an update later this winter. And finally, the last thing on my list is the Gardena brush head that, you guessed it, can be used on the same pole that I've been using throughout. This brush does a thorough job of cleaning out all the dust and mud from my garage as I need to create a clean environment for my summer cars and tools. Speaking of which, this is a great time to give my favorite robot, my Gardena robotic mower, a quick clean using the service kit. The temperatures are dropping quick and it's time to bring it inside for winter along with my Gardena wall mounted and spike mounted hose reels. Well that's it for this video folks, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had a brilliant gardening season. I'll see you next season with some new innovative Gardena products to help you realize your gardening dreams.